The saying that charity begins at home is loud and clear in the approach of the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu. In his bid to contest the 2023 presidential race in Nigeria, Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu has paid courtesy visits to prominent and paramount rulers of Yoruba land. It was a warm welcome at the palaces of the Alake of Egba land and the Akaribu of Remo land. At the Palace of the Alake of Egba land, Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu was supported by prominent political leaders of Yoruba extract, ranging from senators, House of Rep members, local government chairmen, state cabinet members, and APC party stalwarts. Speaking at the Alake's palace, Bola Ahmed Tinubu reiterated his ambition to seek election for the highest office in Nigeria and sought the blessings of the royal father. All I say is to seek the permission, the fatherly permission of candidacy, to seek the candidature of my party. Not just for the party, but to rule Nigeria. The Alaki of Egba land, Obade Dotunare Mugbade Bode III, offered prayers for Bola Ahmed Tinubu and also assured him of royal support from the Egba kingdom. Before the amalgamation of Northern and Southern Petrobate, a foundation existed, and this place served as the presidential palace. With Alake sitting on this way, where he resided as the president of the country. It only never means that when you come to seek something presidential, you must come here. The grand nation will continue to play its role in the affairs of this nation. At the palace of the Akaribo Remo, Ashiwajibol Ahmed Tinubu was described as a nationalist and bridge builder whose political success and experience also traversed the length and breadth of Africa. Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a trailblazer. Trailblazer in the sense that what others will never dare in their lifetime to dare, Ashwaju will do it. He's a nationalist. I say this because when you look at his cabinet at that time, it was almost impossible for anybody to imagine that Ashwaju would bring an Igbo man into the cabinet. He did it. I'm brought in the likes of Ben Akabwezi. Today, the man that he brought in at that time is the DG budget for the whole of the Federation. So the person we are introducing is not somebody that we are saying do something. We are not bringing a promissory note. To you, we are showing you a bank check that is satisfied. and trusted. Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in his remark to the royal father and his teaming supporters, said, "As one who was well brought up, he had no option but to uphold the culture of respect to the custodians of Yoruba culture and tradition." He stated that the sitting president, President Muhammad Buhari, is aware of his ambition to succeed him. I came to report myself to Kabesi <laughs> that I'm running for president. <laughs> and equally, let Kabesi know that I didn't jump the fence yes, sir. like a robber <laughs> to the villa. I went to the villa 
I know we have four presidents at a time and can be only one president at a time. And he must be respected. I respected him, went to him, informed him that I wanted to step into his shoes without stepping on his toes. And because of the way I was trained and developed, because of what I've even told other people who had interest to listen to me, the cultural respect, the value is to inform your traditional leaders what you are doing what you are back to and back on that is why this consultation and the sake of prayers continues the paramount ruler of remo land or Baba Batunde Ajayi gave his blessings and assured Tinubu of royal support from his kingdom. These courtesy visits indicate in no small measures the support and acceptance Bola Ametinubu enjoys from Yoruba land in particular and Nigeria at large. Yes,